borderline personality disorder is the topic uh, for this video and uh, borderline personality disorder has a very interesting uh, set of uh, characteristics and um, I'll go through them one by one uh, the first uh, piece of information that's important is that the background uh, of patients that have this uh, disorder psychiatric uh, disorder uh, tend to be that they feel that their care uh, during childhood uh, was inadequate. So what that does is it leads uh, to a, a sense of, uh, of uh, feeling empty and um, feeling angry. So angry and empty. And this later on, of course, uh, will lead to some pretty intense uh, and dramatic uh, personality characteristics and so I'll go through them uh, one by one. The first thing is something uh, called uh, extreme shifts. Uh, it's actually uh, the term for this is splitting and I'll, I'll explain what that means. They basically look at situations or at people in extremes so everything is either all good or all bad and um, this uh, can relate to to people or it can also relate to um, uh, situations that they face. Another thing that happens is that they tend to have very very unstable uh, personal relationships. So the relationships for example with their parents or with their uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, uh, they tend to be very very unstable. They also tend to um, uh, when they do face uh, problems in life, uh, they often they harm themselves. And uh, one example of that is self-mutilation, where they cut themselves. And this can sometimes uh, lead to suicidal um, acts as well. In addition, there's a few other things that tend to happen in borderline personality disorder. The person will uh, exhibit intense um, anger, uh, intense relationships. Also, uh, there's mixed uh, psychiatric disorders. Uh, there will be a component of anxiety, depression, and there might even be um, some alcoholism in, in, involved as well. And it's it's a chronic. Uh, personality disorder so it's ongoing so what we can do now is take a look at some clinical vignettes and see what this looks like in a patient setting a 19 year old girl or woman is brought to the emergency room by the police she had run away from home after another battle with her mother she has been hospitalized several times for overdoses and has numerous scars on her wrists the psychiatrist notes that all of her relationships have been stormy and that she seems to regard people as either all good or all bad. She is admitted with the diagnosis of major depression because of the apparent depth of her depression. However, by the next morning she is completely recovered and is well with no vegetative symptoms, which of the following is most likely diagnosis. Well, we have some components here. We have the self-mutilation. That's what those scars are on the wrist. We have this part, which is splitting, which is when a person considers um, everything either all good or all bad extremes, basically. And then uh, the relationships has have been stormy, and that has to do with the the unstable uh, interpersonal relationships. So. In one clinical vignette, you have uh, quite a few components of borderline personality disorder. Uh, next one, a 24-year-old female is brought to the emergency room after threatening to kill herself by cutting her wrists. She has multiple scars in her wrists, which she admits were caused by prior suicide attempts. She states she is very angry at her boyfriend who left her for another woman. She previously thought her boyfriend was an angel and now she thinks he is a monster. She feels very empty inside. While smiling, she states that she is depressed. 
Uh, during the interview, she drops to the ground but continues to talk while lying on the floor. She believes nobody understands her, what is her underlying personality disorder. Okay, well, this one, uh, we have more components uh, described in the clinical vignette. Um, we have um, very angry with her boyfriend, so that's a sign of unstable relationship. Um, the suicidal ideation or suicidal suicidal um, acts or tendencies is definitely there. This one is interesting. She thinks that he was an angel, but then now she thinks he's a monster, so that's the splitting where they look at things at ex in extremes. And um, I think there's more than enough information to point to borderline. And then finally, a 30-year-old woman uh, calls her new primary care physician to request a refill on her alprazolam, which had been previously, which had been prescribed by her former physician for severe anxiety. Her new physician has only seen her once about a month ago after the patient made several superficial lacerations on her wrists during a fight with her boyfriend. At that time, she had been referred for emergency psychiatric evaluation. On the telephone, she describes intense anxiety related to unstable relationship with a new boyfriend, binges on alcohol, alternating irritability, anger, depression, recurrent vague suicidal thoughts, and a plan or intent to harm herself. Contact with her former physician reveals that these feelings and behaviors were unchanged over the five years that he had seen her for routine health maintenance examinations and minor illnesses, which of the following is most likely diagnosis. Uh, again, we have quite a few components of uh, borderline personality disorder. Uh, we have um, the cutting behavior. Uh, we have, let's see here, unstable relationships. That's in there. Uh, we have suicidal acts and the chronicity of the events uh, or or this uh, symptoms uh, is definitely there so borderline personality disorder describes this patient